guys, it's Susan from SmellsLikeFitness.com and I want to do a video today about Shakeology because I get a lot of questions about Shakeology and what's my favorite recipe and what's the best way to prepare it. So today I'm going to show you um, a little bit about some tips on how we store Shakeology and how I make my very favorite flavor which is chocolate pumpkin. Um, first of all, here's the bag that Shakeology comes in. I usually recommend that people get the bag versus the packets because in the packets you only get 24 servings and in the bag you get 30. So more servings for your money, which is always good. But if you've gotten this bag before, you probably notice that the zipper part, the ziplock, not good. It's a pain in the tail. So what we ended up doing was getting a container. I got this from the container store, but I've noticed that other stores like Target and Walmart have them too. This is called a click clack container and I love it. Like you just squeeze and it you put it down in there and it's airtight. It's really handy. We put the scoop down in there. We just always have this. As soon as we get our Shakeology shipment every month, we pour it directly into this container. We have two, vanilla, chocolate. Another question we get is, do Zach and I drink Shakeology every day? Yes, we do. We love it, we believe in it. It is kind of our, it fills the gaps in our nutrition. Is it a miracle drink? No. There's no such thing as a miracle drink. If you eat cheeseburgers the rest of the day and have your Shakeology, you're still going to gain weight and be unhealthy. This is part of a healthy diet. You can replace your breakfast with it, it can be a snack, it could even replace your dinner. But the rest of your day needs to be good solid food um, that is contributing to your health, not fresh food. So how do I make my favorite shake? I always start with a base of half a banana. It just adds a little bit of natural sweetness. Um, to my shake. Uh, we have tons of bananas all the time, but listen, if you ever let a banana go bad, don't throw it out. Unpeel it, cut it in half, and freeze them in your freezer so that you always have bananas available for your shake. So here's what I like to do for my pumpkin banana, my, my pumpkin chocolate shakeology, I should say. Start with a half banana, then I stuff a handful of spinach in there. There's no measurements or anything. You might think, spinach? What? You don't taste it, it dissolves completely. Then I put a couple of ice cubes in, two or three, sometimes two if the banana is frozen since it's already adding some, some freeze to it. Then I always buy, I always have canned pumpkin. This is not pumpkin pie mix that has a lot of sugar in it. This is canned pureed pumpkin. I just take like a big tablespoonful. Once again, I don't measure. Whatever looks good, use a lot. Then I do my scoop of Shakeology. Really pack it in, get my full scoop in. Then I've got my cinnamon. A few shakes. We go through cinnamon like crazy at our house. We put it on cereal, we put it on sweet potatoes, butternut squash, lots of cinnamon. This is a little nutmeg. Also adds a little flavor, a little spice to it. Then I usually, I usually just go with water, like maybe a cup and a half, fill it up. But if you want a little creaminess, and a lot of times I do, this is just skim milk. I will pour, shoot, probably not even a quarter of a cup, just to fill the bottom. Just that little bit makes a, a big de deal in the um, creaminess of this. And I figure one cup of skim milk is how many calories? 80 calories. So. It's negligible on what, how many calories you're, you're adding. Finish it off with water to the top here. And then last year I bought Zach a magic bullet for his birthday and we have loved it. We use it so much, we use it all the time. Every day for our shakes, I use it for salad dressings too. It's proven to be powerful enough. We really like it. So cover your ears, I'm gonna blend this. to add flax seed to his shakes. I, I figure it's got flax in there already, so. All right, can you get a close-up on that? Nice and smooth and creamy, a big old shake. If I'm having this as for breakfast in the morning, sometimes I'll sprinkle some grape nuts on top just to get a little more substance and chewies, and um, it's really good too. So that's how I make my favorite pumpkin chocolate shakeology. 
Um, if you have any questions about other flavors, please just reach out or visit smellslikefitness.com for more information.